Now, the Vatican has just provided us with an update on the health of the former Pope Benedict uh, after, of course, saying yesterday his condition, uh, condition rather, had suddenly worsened. Uh, they say that the 95-year-old former pontiff is now in a serious but stable uh, condition and uh, medical experts are monitoring him. Pope Francis had asked for prayers for his predecessor yesterday, saying he was very sick. And the former head of the Catholic Church became the first pope in some 600 years to resign when he stepped down in 2013, saying at that time he no longer had the uh, strength physically or mentally to carry on leading the church. Well, let's uh, speak now to Roman Catholic priest Michael Nazi Ali, who joins us. Thank you very much uh, for your time with um, Pope Francis, of course, asking everyone to, to pray for Benedict. Um, it does appear, though, that um, he's really in a very difficult position there in Rome at the moment. Yes, and I think he has been in uh, quite delicate health for, for some time. Uh, so this is just a worsening of what uh, has been going on for a while, for some months. Um, but uh, yes, if and when he goes, it will be the end of an era. Yeah, and, and obviously, you know, it's, it's uh, rather unkind to talk of legacy, of course, while he's still fighting for his life there. But it, it's a very unusual position to have one pope calling for prayers for another who is still alive, and I, as I gather, being cared for actually within the Vatican in the grounds of, uh, I think, an old monastery or, or nunnery there? That's right. That is where he's been living. Um, well, I think it is good to talk about legacy because uh, whatever he's done in the past uh, has to be assessed, and uh, this is as good a time as any to, to do that. Um, I mean, he has been a most influential figure, not just in the church, but on the world stage. Was he divisive in that he was very much um, a, a conservative, obviously, with a small c, a traditionalist, and that uh, that came at a time when many, perhaps, in the church wanted it to move forward and, and become a, a more modern papacy? Well, Benedict um, understood the situation in Europe very well. Uh, he is, of course, European himself, uh, but he uh, understood the emptiness that there is at the heart of Europe, in spite of all the glitz uh, and the technical achievements, that um, the fact that um, Christianity has provided that heart for Europe for so many centuries, and its growing absence is creating this void. Um, I mean, this is widely understood by by people that um if you don't have god uh, mm. in europe uh then you uh, create uh, a void and even the existentialists like jean paul sartre were quite clear that you know we were accidents that um life had no meaning the universe no purpose if there was no god 